Now, after a third child has died from exposure to fentanyl, activists in Baton Rouge are pushing for awareness. We're not going to tolerate it. That enough is enough. Thursday, police arrested Tiffany Thomason on one account of negligent homicide after the coroner determined that her child, Solomon Thomason, died from accidental overdose of fentanyl. This is the third fentanyl-related death involving a child in Baton Rouge. Minister and activist Tanja Miles says it's three too many. It happened to be, what, the third, um, the third, you know, young person or the third, you know, uh, kid or toddler in our community in the last, what, less than 12 months who've died by a fentanyl overdose. And... We need to be outraged by that. On January 27th, officers were called to a home on West Johnson Street in regards to an unresponsive infant. The infant was taken to Our Lady of the Lake Hospital where it died. We learned from the East Baton Rouge coroner that baby Solomon had over five times the fatal amount of fentanyl in his system. When she learned of her son's accidental overdose, Thomason said that her sister had died of an overdose last year. She also says that she had gotten her sister's things out of storage and her son may have gotten a hold of the substance from there. Police say they are facing an ongoing battle with the deadly drug. Oh, it's a battle that all of us are fighting. Not only law enforcement, the coroner's office, you know, doctors that are, are, are out there prescribing and then for those users who are uh, having an issue with chemical dependency. So uh, it's a struggle all the way around. If you or someone you know is dealing with an addiction to fentanyl, reach out to whenyouareareadybr.com or contact the 988 Crisis Hotline. Michael Sylvia.